I'm Liz without Van About, and this is Rover. I'm gonna do a short walkthrough with you. Here, we have a drawer, and you have a larger drawer on the other side. Over here, we have the inverter. The inverter converts the 12 volts of power to the 110, 115 volts to utilize your outlets. So you have an outlet here and you have an outlet on the wall, which I'll show you in a bit. Just remember once you're done using it, turn off the inverter, otherwise it will continuously draw power from your battery. outlet I was telling you about when I was explaining the inverter. Here you have your fridge switch, your dimmer lights, and your solar charge controller. The solar charge controller just indicates how much power your batteries have. You don't have to do anything with the solar charge controller. You have a small table here. Here I give you your propane cylinder and you have a small lantern here. Over here we have your fridge. You can adjust the temperature here. Max being the coldest. Min being not so cold. And we have your pull-out kitchen drawer. So over here we have your sink. I'll put your dish soap in your dish scrubber. The sink drains right underneath, so be wary of where your feet are when using it. You have your two burner Coleman stove right here. And here you have your propane connector. So when using your propane cylinder, make sure this is screwed on tightly before, use, before connecting your cylinder. Pop off the black cap, and you simply just screw your cylinder in. Make sure it's on very tightly. We don't want any escaping propane. And you're all good to go. When you're done, Simply unscrew your cylinder, you'll hear a pop. Put your connector down and pop your black cap back on again. And further down the drawer, you have the rest of your kitchenware. Um, so I've included two cups, two bowls, two plates, a pan, a pot, two hand towels, a cutting board, a gas lighter, um, you also have a bottle opener and cutlery for two. Once you're done using it, you simply just push it and it will automatically lock itself. The doors will further open by just pulling this lever here. If you want a little bit more space or a better view. And when you want to close the doors, you just pull in and they'll automatically lock. No extra work is needed. We also include magnetic curtains, so these panels will just stick right on here. And you have the exact same panel for that window and you have another panel for the sliding door window. I also include a curtain to separate the cabin area from the bedding area. So you pull out your wood panel here, and these three hooks will hook onto those three hooks up there above the driver and passenger seat. And you just lift the panel and just hook it into the hooks. And then right on these bottom hooks, this curtain will hang onto this. To use the bedding area, or to change the bed to, or to change the sitting area to a bed, simply lift this panel and flip it over and it will rest onto this wooden shelf right here. Here we have the driver's seat, so you have your automatic mirrors, you have 
your gas lever and your hood lever and everything else that a car has. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> um, oh, actually, wait, go back in. Oh, so that's fine. Good. Good. So on the passenger side, you have your gas cap. Um, it takes 87 unleaded. And to open the fuel, okay, put the key in, turn to the right, key in, turn to the right, and it'll just pop open. And then just remember to close it and lock it when you're done using it, because we don't want anything black. In case you have any other questions, I include a binder here in between the driver and passenger seat and it basically just explains everything that I have mentioned here in this walkthrough.